this um, fried dough made with split pea or chickpea flour and it's soft and salty and fluffy on the inside with a crispy exterior Sounds and you good. eat it with either a tamarind chutney or a mango chutney on the mm. side after you fried it and it's really quite delicious it's a great snack hey did you know that polori actually came to the Caribbean from migrant indentured workers good. originally from Indian descent Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over the years, Polori actually transformed itself and it was altered based on the ingredients that was found in the Caribbean and also based on just the taste and the flavors that evolved over the years. Okay. Now, Polori currently is very heavily used uh, in the Hindu celebrations when they're celebrating the Padua, uh, also oh. called Holy. the Holy. Holy Festival of Colors. Yes. Yeah, they throw like color powder on each other. Exactly. It's really, it's, yeah, it's widely celebrated in Japan. So what do we have uh, in this uh, glory jar of ours? So like all the other jar of lights, it comes with your very own recipe card. Mm -hmm. And you have all your dry ingredients, which are comprised of flour and your chickpea powder and the seasonings and everything that goes in it. So what we're going to do is essentially... <laughs> all right. There we go. Right. Okay. Oh, it's not nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have all our ingredients in the bowl. <laughs> Sorry. I have to spread the toilet paper again. How are we gonna do this? Okay, just. A few moments later. So what do we have in our uh, jar? In our pillowy jar. So in this jar, you have a mix of uh, chickpea flour and all-purpose flour. And then we have it with our special West Can curry mix. Ooh. And there's also turmeric and there's ginger. So there's lots of different spices that are in here that come together to give it. Can you guys smell that? Yeah. You smell the. Mmm. Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you mix everything because we have it in the bags it's sort of it's layered so you want to make sure you mix it all properly and get everything well incorporated and then what we're going to do is add some green seasoning in this green seasoning which i've made myself <laughs> we have green onions we have shadow bengi or cilantro there is onions there is garlic there is also chili pepper uh, yeah, and I guess a little bit of uh, vinegar or um, lemon you can put also if you want to make it on your own, but I make this one. I put a little vinegar, vinegar in it. I'll put about one tablespoon in there. Like that? Mm-hmm. Want a little bit more? Sure. Can't yeah, see no, a little bit of seasoning. No, never see no good seasoning. Yeah. Mm. Mm, this is very flavorful. It's it's mm. Mm. It smells really nice. Yeah. My children actually eat this straight out the box. Really? It's a fight. I make it, <laughs> and they're kind of waiting in line for their spoon like it's cake or something. <laughs> Alright. So, then we have our cup of water here. If one of you would be so kind as to pour it. So what I'm going to do is make a well in the center here. We're going to be pouring the water into this well in the center. Pour it all at once? No. So pour about half of it. Okay. So this is a full cup. So you want to pour about half a cup at first. And then as you're stirring. You're kind of folding it in. You're folding it in and making sure you incorporate everything and you get that dough going. Because you want it to be of a pourable consistency. Okay. And in the meantime, we're waiting for the oil to heat, which you know how hard it is to know. No, it was high enough. Oh, no. I've heard all kinds of stuff. Stick yeah, a spoon yeah. in it or yeah. stick a little spoon. But I, I don't know, I think, I think we, should, we should ask an expert. We should ask an expert. Yeah, we I definitely think so. should. Yeah. Hi guys, so I'm Eldine, owner of Gal Vibes Accessories and Eating with Eldine on YouTube. 
So a few common problems that might come up when making pilori is the batter being too dense. So to make sure it's nice and light on the inside, you want to make sure you thoroughly whisk your batter so that when you fry it, you get a light and airy texture on the inside. You want to make sure that your oil is hot enough and you can test the temperature of your oil if you don't have a thermometer with just putting a little bit of your batter into your hot oil and once bubbles start to form and it begins to get golden brown, you know your oil is the perfect temperature for making some glory. And lastly, to retain the crispy crunch that you get when you initially bite into your polori, you want to make sure that you drain it on a plate lined with paper towel and use a slotted spoon to remove it from the oil so that you relieve it of any excess oil so it is not soggy. And if you use those tricks, I promise you will have A1 polori and it will be amazing. So you can find me on Instagram at shopgalvibes, uh, www.shopgalvibes.com, and here on YouTube at Eating with Eldine. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Eldine, for that frying tip. That was excellent. Yeah. So in the meantime, we continued adding water. So what I've had here is a dough that's of droppable consistency. So what it took for us was about a cup and three quarters to about two cups. So the recipe card will tell you one cup, but you can add as much until you get to this consistency. It'll depend on the temperature outside. It'll depend on the temperature inside your house. So there's a lot of factors that come into play. Mm. Interesting. So I will scoop. You will scoop. I will fry. So one of the first ways we can drop things into the hot oil is with two spoons. So you scoop it with one and then drop it into the oil with the other. Mm. Right. And you know that oil is the right temperature, like like Aldine said, because yeah. it starts to bubble right away. This is true. Well, that's what you drop it in. There you go. Right away. Nice. Now, is it okay if they touch each other? Yes, because once they start frying and that the outside is it has started cooking, they're not going to stick together anymore. Beautiful. Did you see that? It flipped itself. Did mm -hmm. you see that? And we're going to wait for them to get golden brown. So this color, this consistency here, they're still too light. Okay. So at that point, we know that they're still raw on the inside. Yeah. So they'll, they should be doing another flip after. So they flip once and then they flip again. And then that's when you know it's time to take them out. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh! Wow, this is so exciting! <laughs> Once you put the water and you drop it in, it fries itself. All you mm -hmm. have to do is take it out. Ooh. So it'll get that deep shade of um, golden, brown. yeah, golden brown that we're looking for. Oh, that was nice. Put them to drain on paper towel. Yeah. Now, when you're putting them to drain, you would put it on a paper towel just so that the paper towel will absorb any oil, any excess oil. Now we finished frying our pilori, so this is what you should have. The recipe in the jar makes about 40 to 45, depending on what size you make them. Ooh. I think it's time to eat. Yeah. Uh, can we have some tasters? We can have some tasters. I'm gonna show them what it's Boys. gonna look like inside. So inside you're gonna have a soft and fluffy interior and you still have your crispy outside. And we have dipping sauces, boys. Mm. So you have a tamarind dipping sauce, mm -hmm. a sweet chili sauce, and you have a peri-peri sauce. You can use a mango chutney, a cucumber chutney, whatever you want. Go ahead, dig in. Mmm, very crispy on the outside. Mm. Yeah. I like to break mine a bit, so that mm. when I dip it into the... It get, the sauce gets yeah. inside. Mm. And it absorbs. Mm -hmm. Did you really put... <laughs> Three sauces? How does it taste? Good stuff? Mm -hmm. You like it? Well, thank you for joining us on uh, this uh, episode of Jar Delight. You can find us on Instagram or on Facebook with the tag at West Canfo. Or um, you can follow us on Twitter, also at West Canfo. Um, YouTube on this channel, like us, subscribe, so we might be making more videos for you. Maybe we'll tell you how to make a green seasoning. Mmm, but... so good. Oh, All they're right. good. They're delicious. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.